guys so this is the redmi 10 and in this video i will show you how to flash the custom rom in this one okay we will be using the nusantara os based on android 12l and i will show you how to flash the custom recovery as a custom rom and also solve a problem while flashing the custom rom all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, this is the part one. How to install the ROM and I'll make a part two to make a quick review about the ROM. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum. We meet again with Tom Bob. Okay, this time we have the uh, Redmi 10 Selene. And in this video, I will show you how to flash a custom ROM in this phone. Okay. On the previous video, I already made a video tutorial on how to root this phone. And in this video, I will show you how to flash the custom ROM. Okay, if you need to root on the stock ROM, you can check the video. And there, <laughs> I'll put the link if I'm not forget. Okay. First thing I want to show you is the exciting system. Okay. <clears throat> it is using the Mu 12.5.19. Okay. And there is my name in here. Uh, but just ignore it one because this is the build ROM. If you have a original ROM, uh, it's not a problem. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you should use the Mu 12.5. Okay, based on Android 11. If you want to flash the custom ROM at this moment. Okay. And if you have Mu 13, you must flash the stock firmware the mu 12.5 from the facebook okay and as usual make sure you already unlock your pawn <clears throat> it's very simple okay it is mandatory okay and make sure you move our emails and other stuff just to prevent if there is any problem after that we can turn off the phone and go to the fast boot mode. Okay. As usual, fast boot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. Just press the two button until you see the fast boot mode screen. Okay. So this is the step, and this is. All the file that we needed okay so we have the custom rom the stock rom or you can call it the mu recovery and this is the recovery okay now let's follow the step let's open the cmd or powershell first you need to do is flash the VB meta and let's just click and drag the file right here and <clears throat> let's flash the recovery okay we're using the trp 3.7 <clears throat> and just for information all the files and steps i will provide in my blog you can check in the description box okay and already copy all the files to the micro SD. It's always a good idea to have the micro SD. Yeah, I already copy this one, the mu, and also the gaps. Okay. And let's switch the screen. And here we go. Now we are in the custom recovery. <coughs> so don't don't be surprised because it takes time for the first time to boot into the custom recovery <laughs> takes about 10 to 15 minutes okay 
not the problem and it's expected okay now the first thing we want to do is we want to back up the email so let's go to the backup menu right here go to the option tab uh checklist the enable compression for a smaller size and then let's select the uh, nvram nv data persist where is it persist persistence protect f protect s okay that's all and let's put it in a safe place i put it in the micro sd and let's give it a name uh certainly whatever okay and swipe it okay it's always a good idea to back up this one because if there is problem you can always restore the email in best band and after you back up the email <clears throat> let's go to the wipe option right here select format data and tap yes and after that we need to blast all the file at the same time okay so basically we need to install the uh, stock rom the mi recovery the, and the custom rom after that refresh the therapy okay i'll select install select storage select where you have your file <clears throat> and i put it in here select the new recovery first file add more zip select the nusantara okay we're using the nusantara 4.8 under 12l that included gaps okay and now select automatically refresh therapy okay swipe it and we'll wait it takes time because we flash the stock ROM that size about two gigabyte after that flash the custom ROM that the size is more than one gigabyte okay let's skip this one it's done now let's hit the reboot system and let's see if we have successfully flashed custom ROM okay and just for your information the process before placing the new recovery stock rom and the custom rom it takes about 15 minutes if i'm not mistaken okay let's wait let's see if there is any problem with that <clears throat> so we have a special case right here so if there is a problem we put the recovery <coughs> flash another custom ROM boot image and then replace the custom recovery or last the new boot image and then flash the custom recovery again okay let's try it let's put again into the <coughs> custom recovery seems that the first attempt is fail and let's try the second attempt okay let's go to the install find your boot image okay so this time we're going to flash the original boot mg okay put it in the boot swipe it Okay, hit home, go to the advance, and <clears throat> flash current therapy, swipe it. Okay, let's wait. Done. Now let's reboot system and let's see the result. Okay, let's hope it solve all the problems and here we go finally we have success okay <laughs> now we can see the bootlog of Nusantara OS is loading 
it means that we have successfully uh, flashed the custom ROM and we'll wait until it goes to the home screen and finally we are now in the Android wizard just hit next next until it goes to the home screen and we will check the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and now we are in the home screen let's check if the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth working or not okay it seems that the Bluetooth won't turn on let's check the Wi-Fi and it also doesn't work okay so we have to press the custom kernel all you need to do is press the power button go to the advanced and select recovery and it will boot into the custom recovery we are in the custom recovery now let's go to the install select where you put your kernel and we're using the red squid okay let's select the file and don't forget automatically reflash therapy after we flash the file then now let's reboot system and let's check if the custom kernel fixed the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth now we are in the custom room again and let's check if the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth working or not okay let's test the Bluetooth it's working it's turned on and now let's test the Wi-Fi I already connected and let's connect okay now we are connected to the Wi-Fi okay so the kernel fix the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and I think that's all guys I will not cover about the custom ROM because the video will be too long maybe in the next video okay so this is a tutorial on how to flash a custom ROM on your Redmi 10 the MediaTek device okay all the step and file I'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay thank you see you on the next video and I hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and I also have lots of video about routing custom ROM and lots of fun okay especially Xiaomi Samsung Realme Asus and other stuff okay uh, you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay safe stay healthy and wassalamualaikum